Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and today we're going to show you how to host free webinars. So many companies are paying a lot of money for hosting webinars with thousands and thousands of viewers. Turns out you can combine the video conferencing technology with live streaming technology, and it's a home run. There's a lot of benefits we're going to talk about, and uh, definitely think you're going to be interested in this one. So, companies like GoToWebinar, um, WebEx, there's a bunch of them out there, Zoom, offer webinar packages. And basically what it does is it takes your video conferencing package and upgrades it so that thousands and thousands of people can view that. Well here at PTZ Optics, if you watched our vlog at all, you know that live streaming is now free with YouTube and Facebook. And you can take that very affordable video conferencing software license, maybe $20 or less, and just stream it to the world for free. And there's no reason to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for these streaming applications. So let's go over a little presentation I have and then I'm going to show you exactly how to do all this. So first of all, it's quite easy. You just need your, your computer, an additional monitor, a camera and a microphone obviously, and a YouTube account or a Facebook account to stream to. So um, it's really, we stopped using GoToMeeting a long, long time ago because it was so expensive. And now, uh, you know, we've actually, it used to reduce our ability to reach larger audiences. So now we use YouTube Live, sometimes we use Facebook Live, and we're getting 10 times as many people actually watch our videos. We've boosted our total views. And we're, there's no, you know, there's no question of this. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. They have an unparalleled audience size. So we found that we can also uh, improve audience retention as well because they're not having to download anything. They just go to YouTube and they watch the webinar. They can still chat and participate and you can still offer audio conferencing abilities like we showed on our last Friday webinar. So the definition of a webinar is really, uh, when you type that into Wikipedia, it's going to take you to web conferencing. And it's an umbrella term for various online collaborative services or web seminars is really where the word webinar came from. If you type in live streaming, Wikipedia is going to dump you to streaming media, which is a multimedia that's constantly being received by or presented to an end user while being delivered by a provider, which would be you, the host of the webinar. So only good things can come when you're combining two emergency, emerging technologies. So what is the setup? Well, we're gonna have a computer with an i5 processor. Really, that would be good for 720 streaming. i7 would be recommended for a um, for 1080p streaming. Dual monitor setup, so you've got one monitor for your streaming software, and you've got one monitor for your video conferencing software. We just, we simply do, and we showed this a second ago here, we simply do a desktop capture. Let's go back, back, back. Simply do a desktop capture and then a virtual audio cable, which I'm going to show you live in this vlog. And we bring the video and audio from Skype into our live stream, stream to the world. Thousands of people can watch our webinar. It's that easy. Um, so again, we got the computer, we got the dual monitor, we got the webcam and microphone. You're going to need two microphones, one for the far end, and then hopefully a higher quality one for your recorded and streamed content. Finally, a Skype account for your video conference if you really need that. If it's just a one-way broadcast, a one-way webinar, you can simply skip all the video conferencing piece and stream to the world. That's what live streaming is all about. Use the chat for communication and, and answer questions from your um, chat room. It's really important. YouTube account and then free streaming software just because we want this to be completely free. We're talking about Open Broadcaster for the free software, YouTube for the free streaming, Skype for the free video conferencing. Because we want to show everyone completely free and then we can talk about some upgrades. So step-by-step -step guide. The first thing you need to do is set up your computer and your dual displays. Connect your USB camera and USB microphones. You need two of them. Install Skype. Set up your YouTube Live or your Facebook Live. Install OBS, Open Broadcast Software, if you already have Wirecast or vMix or XSplit or one of the more advanced live streaming softwares, more power to you. That's a great idea. Uh, and then install these virtual audio cables we're going to use. That's the only thing that costs money here. It's like $15. You can use, and we're going to show you how to use it. It basically creates a connection from Skype into your broadcasting software for all the audio. 
So once this is all done, your standard workflow would be to open up your, your broadcasting software, set up your screen capture for Skype, use your virtual audio cables to bring in the audio, use your desktop capture to bring in the video, and that will be perfectly synced. In, invite your Skype participants if you are interviewing people from around the world, or skip Skype completely and just do a one-way broadcast, which simplifies the setup completely. Uh, and a lot of people do webinars that way. It's one person sharing slides, maybe a little video. Honestly, sometimes it's just slides. Um, you can use uh, what's called an external webcam. That's, that is kind of an important part of hosting your own live show and doing this type of stuff. That gives the far end of your Skype call what's called return video, and it allows them to see what the sh what's on the show when they're live. And then finally, just start your broadcast a little early, invite your audience, and everyone will get notified automatically. Again, the main reason why we're doing this is because we're going to boost the amount of total viewers, we're going to boost audience retention, and we're going to boost the repeat attendance by using this method. So we've looked at GoToWebinar and WebEx and Zoom, and you can see there's some, basically almost all the features that they offer are available with our free Skype to YouTube live technique. So here it is here. Uh, as you can see here, they're charging up to $6,000 for this type of, per month, by the way, for this type of software that you can do completely free using Skype and YouTube Live. So take a look at this. Um, it's a full breakout. You can pause the screen, take a look at it. The main difference is that they're offering email automation and lead management, which most m real businesses are already using a platform like HubSpot or Marketo or Salesforce that does that for you already. So it's not a huge feature in my opinion. So the idea here is the cost of video equipment is going down, the value of video content, webinars, live stream is going up, huge opportunity for businesses. We can reach large audiences globally. We can give uh, our content a sense of urgency. We can get live customer interaction. And the, one of the main things that's so nice about this platform in general is that now we have the ability here to do um, you know, real SEO on YouTube. All the views, all the minutes watched, all of those things matter to YouTube's analytics. And if you're hosting your live stream there, they, all that analytics goes right into your video and you're going to be at the top. So if you're at all serious about video marketing and social marketing, you want to be hosting your live streams on these platforms because who can reward you more than Google and YouTube? Nobody. So what I want to do now is a live, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually set this all up live. So I've already got a Skype call with, um, at least I thought I did. Oh, I got to call Patrick again. I hope he picks up. So we're setting up our Skype call here. I hope he picks up because I really need him to for this. Um, hey, Pat. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Let me get your audio. I got to turn your audio on real quick. Just give me one second. I'm going to go into my audio input here. I'm using vMix and uh, Audio 2. Hey, Pat, how's it going? Good, good. Can you hear me all right? All right, I can hear you. And the reason why I can hear you is because I've got one microphone called the Huddle Pod Air, which is what you're hearing me from, and then my audio from you is coming from a virtual audio cable. So go ahead and give me another level here. One, two, three, four, five, six. How now, brown cow? So that is how. Thank you, Pat. So that's how the audio yep. is set up. So, you can see here that I'm capturing the video from Patrick. I'm capturing his audio. Pat, why don't you give us like a, like a three, two, one, like hold your fingers up and make sure everything's synced up. Three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Coming through perfect. And sometimes, the, you know, the audio actually sounds pretty good. I am actually happy with that. Um, sometimes when I've used other services, I'm not going to name names, do all this stuff, but some audio is better than others when it comes to video conferencing. So now you can see here that I could very easily go to my YouTube account and get my stream key and everything. And, and if you've watched any of our videos before, you already know how to do this, but I'm going to quickly do it for you here. So basically we go into live streaming. And there's two things here. One is you can get your stream key right here, which I'm not going to reveal. So that is actually important. If I gave that away, someone could stream here. Or we can set up a live event. So let's say if we were to set up a live event, let's do test, test event, and you create it, it's going to give you your streaming details. 
And I guess just for the heck of it, I will stream to this um, just to show you how this works. So we select the bitrate, we'll select 1080p for this. It's giving me my stream name. So what we do is we just type this in. I'm, I'm using VMix, but you could use XSplit, you could use Open Broadcaster. So now I'm streaming. I'm streaming to YouTube. And what'll happen is in the live control room, is it's gonna give me a preview here. I'm gonna click preview, and you're gonna see Patrick. Um, well, if I go like this, you'll see him. So basically, this is a live preview of our stream. So I gotta refresh the page here. I'm not gonna start streaming because this is just a test. But you can see there, and it's, it's, it, there's a little bit of a latency, so you'll see. And that's why I'm kind of putting this to the side. See, there's, there's Patrick, it's a desktop capture but because it's hard for me to show you what was going on here but basically so now I'm streaming you can see Patrick in the background it's gonna move over a little bit um, one more test on the audio pad one two three four five six thank you Pat seven, I eight. appreciate it yep. so that's it guys that is what we're talking about here why pay thousands and thousands of dollars for these webinar packages when you can easily live stream so we have a free guide and the link below to teach you guys how to do this. It's very, very simplistic. Um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. It's completely free if you're using Skype and Open Broadcaster. We might, if you give us a call, we might make the case of why you might want to buy Wirecast or VMix or a larger, more sophisticated streaming software. But even then, you're going to save so much money versus um, you know paying monthly for these these webinar services. So. Hopefully that has been informative for you. Thank you for watching, everybody.